Hi, today what we're going to do is this pendant type sprinkler head. As you can see here, we have the dimension and then the 3D drawing. So let's start by making this circle 26 unit diameter and 7 units thickness. Okay, so I will type C, enter, and then I will click anywhere on the screen. And then I will type D for the diameter, 26 units. Okay, and then I will press pull this. This is 7 units for the height. Okay, so this part now. So 26 and 7 units for the thickness. So I will change this view from 2D wireframe to shaded. Okay, so let's go to the front view and I will rotate. Okay, and then from here, I will make this circle. So the diameter is 21 units and then 4 units for the height. No? So I will type C and then this is the center point, diameter of 21 units. And then I will rotate. And then I will press pull by 4 units. Here, this is the 4 units. Okay, and then I will work at the bottom. Okay, so here I will make a circle with the diameter of 12 units and 2 units for the height. So I will type C, diameter, 12 units, enter. And then I will press pull this by 2 units. Okay, so we now have this part. Okay, and then for this red bulb, so the diameter is 3.2. Click here, diameter, 3.2, enter. And then I will press pull this by 20 units. Twenty, enter. I will split this part to this body. So I will I will make a circle. And then select this slice, select this 3D object, enter. And then select object, planar object, click the circle, enter. And then we will now have a separate drawing for this bulb. And then I will change the color to red. No? So PR for properties, select the object, and then change to red. Okay, and then you can now delete this circle. No? close and then for this one let's make a circle with a diameter of seven units and then here diameter of nine units the difference is 10 units no? okay so type circle diameter of seven units make line this line is only 10 units okay so make circle diameter of 9 units. So we are doing this part. 7 units, 10 units for the distance between the two circles, and then 9 units for this smaller circle. And then let's loft this one. Select the two circles. Enter. And then you can now delete the line. Okay. And then I will change the color. So PR, change this to color 8. Okay, so for this part, this barricade or for the support, let's have a rectangle. The dimension of our rectangle is 5 by 2.5. And then rotate this one. So we have a rectangle here. So I will move from this midpoint. And then I will find the quadrant here. No? So click here. Okay, so for this part, let's move this by 0 0.1. And then I will move this rectangle going to the left by 0 0.3. Okay, so this is our rectangle. It's inside. 
Okay, so 0 0.3 here. And then I will copy. And then I will move and rotate. No? So I will rotate. Okay, and then from here, I will select this midpoint and then I will find the quadrant part here. And then I will move, let's say 0 0.4. Okay, so we have this part, this rectangle, and then this rectangle here. We can just move this, let's say by 15 units. Okay, and then go to front view. And then make arc. Okay, so the arc. Let's say you will select this midpoint or geometric center. So click here. And then the geometric center of this part, this rectangle. So click here. And then you can type 40. Make sure that your auto is on. And then you break. Type PR, enter. And then you break until this geometric center. Type LOFT for loft, enter, and then select the two rectangles, enter, and then select this path. For the path, you have to select this arc. Okay, so go to front view, move this by 15 units, and then mirror. No. So we have this guide for the sprinkler head. No? And then we can change now the color. So PR for properties, color 8 for the gray. No? Close and then go to front view. Okay, so for the head, we have to make a circle with a diameter of 30, 17, and 2 units. So let's work at the bottom part. Type C, enter. So click the center point and then select this diameter, type 30 units. C again for circle, diameter 17 units. Enter. Okay, so let's move these two circles. Isolate them. So move 50 units. 50 and then go to bottom view. And then I want you to make a circle with a diameter of 2 units. So type C, enter, select this quadrant, diameter, 2 units. And then delete this. And then from this quadrant, make line. And then make sure that the line will pass through this smaller circle. And then you have to trim. Okay, and then mirror from the center point perpendicular vertically. No? And then no. Then trim this part, trim this, and then trim this, and then this part you have to join. Okay, so this is now converted into one polyline. Huh? And then you have to move this by 50 units, 50. Enter now. And then you can you can press pull this by two units. As you can see here, this is two units. And then change the color to, let's say, color 9. And then array polar. No? So select this object. Enter. And then this is the axis of rotation. And then change this to 12 units. Enter. And then from here, you make a circle with a diameter of 17 units. Here, this is 17. And then press pull that circle by 2 units. Here, so we have the sprinkler head. No? So for the thread, let's make a circle. So click, this is the center point, And then the radius of our circle will be 9.5. Okay, so this is the 9.5. And then type helix. Enter, and then click the center point, 
and then click this quadrant twice okay and then just select here anywhere we can change this helix through these properties okay so select this okay so i want you to change this height to 14 enter and then for the number of turns let's say 10.2 okay change this to clockwise okay so this is now our helix okay and then next we have to make a triangle so to do that type pol for triangle enter number of sides will be three enter click here and then inscribe in a circle the radius of our circle will be 0 0.75 enter okay and then you move from this midpoint until this end point okay and then we have to rotate this one so rotate move again from this midpoint until this end point it should be like this the next command is the sweep command so enter select this triangle and then for the alignment before you select the path change the alignment first and then no no and then select the path so it will be like this okay so let's move this by 20 units and then you select the circle this 2d circle and then offset by one unit okay and then you have to press pull this fourteen units no? so fourteen and then move this by twenty units okay and then change the color again and then you delete the extra or the excess to the objects no? so this one Okay, so for this one, let's have a circle. With a diameter of, let's say, let's say five units. And then rotate. Let's press pull this by, let's say, 1.5 unit. Okay. And then we have to delete the extra 2D circles or 2D lines. No? Okay, so let's change the color of this. No? So change the color to brown. And then this one, uh, edit source, click here. Okay. And then change the color to. 8 save changes uh, i hope uh, i help you with some of your project if you have any comments or any suggestions that you want me to do so just comment down below and uh, i will try to to do it for you so i hope you like this sprinkler head and uh, please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more 3d tutorial videos thank you so much for watching and have a great day